Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. One of the questions people most often ask me is how can I get my favorite artist featured on this channel? One of the best ways to do that is through our Patreon. We have a monthly poll and this artist has never won that poll, but it's been recommended so many times on that poll and I pay attention to what people are repeatedly recommending. So I'm gonna check out Yeba right now for the first time. Thank you to our patrons who've been persistent in recommending Yeba. Let's get to it. Holy crap, she hasn't even sung a word yet. But that run that she just did, that was amazing. We're gonna go back and listen to that run a few times. I'm gonna talk about why it's so amazing and why I instantly know she's incredible. First of all, let's just talk about some of the mouth shapes, the way she's playing around with the sound. We have had a little scrunch of the nose at one point where she's playing with the resonance and where she's drawing the sound, like causing it to ping, ping, ping around inside. She also had a moment where she was opening to like a yam. She's going through different vowels. She's going both through open vowels where her mouth is open and where her mouth is closed. So she's playing with the sound immediately. That's one part. Another part is she's going through pitches fairly quickly, but all of these pitches are right on. It's extremely precise for quick pitches. And then she's going through different registrations. She's playing with different, like the weight of the voice in different areas. It's just immediate. You know, she's got access to really high notes. She's got a really deep, Honestly, I just think it's like a really nice, there's, it sounds like there's a robust lower tone quality that we're going to get, but there's also a sweetness and tenderness in the sound at the same time. So really well-rounded timbre. And you know, just because she's gone through so many notes and such a wide pitch variety in different registers, I'm like, whoa, this, this singer has a massive vocal range. I know that from just a few seconds of singing. <laughs> what a great way to start. Okay, let's go back to her beginning one more time. So by the way, this is from, I think it's like a, so far, it's this is a room concert, I wanna say. It's in New York City, uh, Songs from a Room. Uh, this is my first time watching something from this series, but I'm kind of excited about the concept that I've seen so far in the beginning of this video. Looks cool. <laughs> Love the taper of the dynamic there. Got me with the 
huge vocal range in those first few seconds. And now within the next minute, she's got me with her emotion. I have been drawn into the story. I felt little prickles of goosebumps starting already. I think it has to do with the way that I hear a struggle in her voice and also with the way that she's going up in the pitch with that struggle. Often as people get more emotionally intense, the pitch rises. And so hearing the runs run up, like this is really, really cool. <sighs> Gonna come back here. There were so many other things. Wow. <laughs> I love the way her expression is adding to the timbre as well. Sometimes if you think about things being through your eyes, that can cause the sound to brighten up a little bit. And you hear when she does a sort of flash of her eyes, there's a brightness that brings or that comes into the sound. That's such a good run. Ugh. Wow. Are you coming at a quarter to three? She's using her face you so well. Close the door and lay down next to me. But then I heard you say her name in your sleep. Your dirty secrets too far gone to keep. I love the roundness of the tone with the air, but I love how within all of that I hear that like very much. A focus it feels like it's behind the eyes she's great at keeping the sound bright to balance this natural fullness it's like a there's almost like a slight husky quality in the sound it's a great timbre Ooh. your dirty secrets too far gone to it's clear keep. at the same time wow I, uh, About to lose my eye, 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 eye. There's a way that she's writing the pitch just a tiny bit sharp. Um, there's a little more trembling in the sound. Um, these things are things that naturally happen when a person is has emotions that are rising essentially i don't think that she said oh i'm gonna do this and manufacture the emotion it feels like she is just in touch with an emotion that's already on the edge um, she's able to tap into it able to channel that through her voice and we still have like probably another four minutes of singing left oh my gosh where is this gonna go <laughs> i'm about to lose my my mind, my mind, my mind, about to lose my, my mind, my mind. <laughs> Think about you all the time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The way she closed her mouth in there and then opened it back up. I know that sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> but my my mind was blown. I'm gonna go back to that moment. <laughs> my mind about to lose my Okay, that run up. She's done that a couple different times or a similar thing. I love those runs up. Okay, keep going. My mind, my Okay, so she goes from having this really bright ah vowel, essentially, like the perfect ah vowel placement, even though it's on a diphthong, she's holding that first vowel, the perfect placement of it. And then she closes to a nasal consonant. That means the mouth has to close, but the placement of the sound is so perfect that we're not hearing a shift in that. It stays in that exact pocket as that perfectly placed ah vowel and then when she opens her mouth back up it's in the exact right spot again like that takes a lot of training to do ah 
That was really good. <laughs> I love that. It's very adult. I think about you all the time. The way she landed there is good. Whoa. I'm I feel like I'm becoming obsessed with her singing already. There's there was something that felt a little a little bit Middle Eastern in that riffing. It also harkened back to Jeff Buckley a little bit. I wonder if she studied him some because he brings that into his sound a lot. And there's a certain similarity I'm hearing in there. Oh my gosh. The way she's playing with her vowels in there as well and bringing in some darker vowels like O's. And, About you all the time. Vows, whoa, so many, so much vocal play. You can't even look me dead in the eyes. Her love is strong, she got you hypnotized. You say you love me, but I know it's a lie. When I work so hard to keep you satisfied. <laughs> Whoa! We knew it. words are failing. We knew in that first big run that she was gonna be amazing, and I didn't know she'd be this amazing. I knew, like, it would be incredible. But she's taking it to levels even beyond that already. I just, I'm. Whoa! This singer is amazing. No wonder. I feel like this is a little outside of the wheelhouse of what we often feature on the channel, but I love variety. We should absolutely continue to have variety and we, you do see me interspersing things you might not expect every now and then on this channel. And this, thank you so much to everyone who's been consistently recommending Yeva because wow, wow, what an incredible vocalist. <sighs> We're gonna go back and talk about a few of these things, but mostly, like, I just wanna keep in mind that the most important thing when you're singing is message and communicating emotion to your audience through music. She's doing that in spades. I'm, I'm floored already. The technique is all to get to the message. You can't even look me dead in the eyes. Her love is strong, she got you hypnotized. Listen to that amazing vibrato, right? She's, so the vibrato that she's bringing in, she is building it off of a natural vibrato, but she's controlling actually how far above and below the excursion of the pitches, meaning that she's going further above and below it than naturally she would. And she's really just giving a little kick, essentially. I love that vibrato control. One more time. Look me dead in the eyes. Her love is strong. She got you hypnotized. Wow. You say you love me, but I know it's a and right there, she's got so much. <laughs> it's really the tongue position. Look at this tongue position. Love me, but I know it's a lie. Okay, there's like a little ski slope that's happening inside of her mouth. Where have you seen this before? If you guys have watched this channel a lot, you're gonna say, oh, I saw it in Esmond Norma. Pavarotti, he has a tongue like that. Look at that ski slope. That helps get the, the tongue is also fairly relaxed. I don't see it dipping and pushing into the larynx in the back. This ah vowel is bright, partly because the tongue is boosted up there. And she's aiming for the eyes essentially by shaping her vocal tract and directing that sound towards an area that's going to really give it a bright edge, get some brighter overtones. You love me, but I know it's a lie. When I work so hard to keep you I love the control she has over adding that grit in as well. It's added in very tastefully, does not sound like it's damaging, just sounds 
heart wrenching. <sighs> it's a lie when I work so hard to keep you satisfied. I, 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 I'm about to lose my. And those those uh, goosebumps again. Oh, wow, this is amazing, amazing singing, amazing con. She's an amazing conduit of emotion. The sort of breathlessness and the way she lets so much more air into the sound. It's like it just sounds like she's going through different stages of crying. When you you know you have like dirty like sobby, heavy cries. You have the kinds that are super high and and kind of breathless, um, like you can't even eke them out at times. It's just, she somehow captured different stages of sobbing in her voice. Wow. I'm gonna go back just a little bit more. Yeah. The air in there is amazing. You know, that imperfection in there that we just heard, like there's just a little bit of imperfection. That's part of what makes it so human. I love hearing this. Um, Sometimes like the lowest, lowest notes, they sound like just not as full as some of the rest of the voice. It might be you know, a little nerves, might be not enough sleep the night before something, you know. They're still there and very present though. And it that part makes the voice sound more human to me. If it was perfect, I think it would have lost some of this emotional quality. And the way she's up here, and she, there's like almost like a little uh, hesitancy in the phonation. Again, it makes it sound more human. These like tiny imperfections are part of what makes this performance so powerful. To lose my eye, oh, I, oh, I love her runs too. To lose my, my mind, my mind, my mind, about to lose my, my mind, my mind, my mind, about to lose my. So interesting. Sometimes runs can feel like they're too ornamental, right? They don't have meaning behind them. And her runs in this, I feel almost like it's her mind running. Like it's trying to understand the situation and and somehow logic out of a situation that feels totally illogical and and the mind is just trying to grasp it and comprehend it. And it's running, running and running. And I love the like up and down and the huge range that her runs are covering the way she's using them <sighs> about to lose my Whoa. I just want to say I you absolutely can learn how to sing better you absolutely um, can learn how to connect emotion to your song better you can learn these things some people naturally are going to be closer to that incredible line and I think she just has a gift to be able to take her emotion and bring it so close into her music, so close into her voice. 
yes, a person can work through things. Yes, you can learn to emote more. But to be this close at such a young age, oh my gosh. I feel like she must have started there and then worked further into it. It's this is it's amazing how close to the surface all of her emotions are and how much I feel them. It's really, really impressive. <laughs> No way, no way, she can't take you away from me. Like, there's, you just hear cries barely underneath the surface. I sure won't stay, but I'll be damned if I ever leave. And through this entire part here, there's been extra little breaths that she's put in as well, which happens when you when you're crying or when you're really uh, just have a lot of emotion, a lot of times your breath is not able to drop as low. Your diaphragm won't go down as much. Your lungs won't expand as much. You can't take in as much air. And so people end up having shallow breaths and a lot more of them when they're really, really emotional. This voice then is just, and everything in the performance is echoing. <laughs> so this entire performance is just like sobbing. <laughs> I'm amazed. Okay, back a little bit. I sure won't stay, but I'll be Even the damned if I ever leave. No way, no way, she won't take you away from me. So. In the middle of a way, she had a breath there, and then I just, I couldn't stop it in that run. Her runs are incredible, but I keep going. Ooh, I sure won't stay, but I'll be damned if I ever leave. If I ever leave, anybody know what I'm talking about? No way, no way, she can't take you away from me. started talking about her registers yet like people if this is your first time hearing yaba like i hope you'll join me in being just amazed and going out and looking for more of her work because wow she deserves way more notice way more attention this her instrument's incredible obviously like you know she's technically proficient right one of the things that's happening is she's bouncing back and forth between head voice, mixed voice, chest voice. She's bringing all of these different registers in and really fluidly going back and forth between them, really not using a register because she has to on a certain pitch. You would only think like higher registers, higher pitches. No, she's using registers to color things, to create more textures and timbres and that's part of why it's so amazing. Um, she can cross them. It sounds like she's got a really, really wide crossover range in her different registers. She's able to um, use them for pleading or for a, a, a light thread of hopelessness or hopefulness. It's just like, wow, wow. I go back a little bit. No way, no way. And adding she that to can take you away from me. almost sounds like it's ripping but I know she goes back to clean singing right afterwards and it's fine no way. and I sure won't stay but I'll be damned if I, I ever leave and that mouth goes in oh my god Look at the nose shift there again. She's she's like having so such an incredible experience of shaping the sound. You do, you can see it in her mouth and her lips and even the crinkles of the, her nose. 
I love the way that stayed in a fuller register, but also got lighter in dynamics. So much control. Think about you all the, all the time. Wow. My mind, my mind, my mind, you always be mine. Mm. Mm. Gosh, good runs. No, no. That's that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that one? So there's more. You're telling me there's more. That was just that one. Was that, is there a whole concert that she did in this series? Because, whoa, crap. That was incredible. I need so much more. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy that this was brought to my attention. Thank you again to everybody that was persistent in recommending Yeba. And this falls really cleanly, cleanly, huh? into our clean singing that we often will analyze on the channel. So if you're really into this kind of sound and you wanna hear some more great clean singing, I suggest that you check out this playlist over here and may you fall more in love with music every day.